Well, it's that time in the show where it's time to talk about my impressions for today's show. And today I'm going to have a little bit of a different, what they call a, a meta perspective about the show, and in particular the uh, debate. And what I want to talk about today is um, the importance of debate uh, in, in our lives as entrepreneurs. And you, we hear about uh, entrepreneurs who surround themselves with too many yes men or yes people uh, and give them always the answers that the entrepreneur wants to hear. And I think that's incredibly short-sighted. So five things to think about in terms of who to surround yourself with as an entrepreneur in order to get a, a diverse, a rugged response to any questions that you might have or be thinking about in terms of strategy, in terms of particular questions on direction in the business or whatever the case may be. Number one, surround yourself with cultural diversity. The more cultural diversity there is, in my opinion and my experience, the more, the richer the response will be in terms of finding solutions for problems or giving different perspectives on strategy. Number two, surround yourself with experience diversity. And this means that, that find people from different uh, uh, parts of the economy with different experiences in their background because people invariably draw on the experience in order to, to contribute to discussions and debates. And the, the more uh, diverse that experience, I think the richer that discussion will be. Number three, surround yourself with expertise diversity. Now what this means is it's not the same as experience. The, uh, the expertise means that people come from actually in, inside, they have a skills set that is different to other people. And the more diverse that skill set is, the, the, better, the, and, and the better the answers, the richer the answers will be when looking for solutions. Surround yourself with gender diversity. And this is very important to ensure that uh, I think men and women think differently about, uh, about how to solve problems. And I find that in situations where you have a good mix of men and women in a room, they tend to uh, find much better solutions together uh, for problems or strategies going forward. And then the last point I really want to make here is that you should listen. That when you are presenting a, a problem or a question is instead of sitting there in defense of a particular answer, because we very often make the mistake as entrepreneurs that we come with an opinion and we want to put it in a room and we, then we want to defend our point of view. I find that is very short-sighted uh, short and, and doesn't give you actually the results that, uh, that you need, is don't uh, don't defend any position. Rather listen, listen to what everyone has to say, and then land on a particular point of view that you are prepared to move forward on. Well, that's it.